Bye. Say hello to one of the funniest human beings alive on planet Earth. Woo! It's Paul Ogata. Woo hello, hello, sir. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. Come and take a seat. Oh, I'm banished. No, 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 you're not banished. We don't want to punish you by sitting next to her. Hey. Oh, not Paul. Yes. I actually caught your show the last time you were here. I apologize. Yeah, so did no, I. No, no. It was hilarious. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> that one line. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, sorry. A lot of people don't understand what the joke is right yeah, now. Yeah, but yeah, sorry, 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 okay. sorry. You know what they say? You, you can't yeah. tell another comedian's joke to your friends? Yes, you can. It just doesn't work. But Paul, this is like your fourth trip here to Malaysia. Yeah. Yes, I enjoyed it. I, I'm originally from Hawaii, so this is mm -hmm. very much like my home. Mahola. As in ma the it? mountains? <laughs> uh, the mountains, the rain, the thunder. Uh, What's the saying? Mahola? Is, what is it? Mahalo. Mahalo, Mahalo. that's it. Mahalo. Mahalo. Mahola is something else. You don't want to say I don't want to know. I think I'm the only Hawaiian here in town. But What's your favorite thing about Malaysia so far? Which is your favorite food, for example? Mm. Oh, uh, I like the thing that has the rice in it with the other thing on it. It's mm. a, ah, that just describes every other dish yeah. you ever made. <laughs> okay, yeah, but how good. did you get started in stand-up comedy? Yeah. It was the last of my options. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I think for a bit you were studying engineering as well, right? Yes, what? electrical engineering. I was about to be... How uh, did that? How well, did that go? we have a stalker right here. Yeah. Hey, shh. It was... Uh, <laughs> And she was it handcuffs? so boring oh. that you had to spice it up? With it yeah, it it's a, you know how you're wired differently, you're right-brained or left-brained? Yeah. I'm, the, I'm the whatever brain that is not electrical engineering. See, ah. a, lot, a lot of my friends here, they, their parents wanted to be engineers. So they yes. say, okay, you go and do it, and then you can do what you want. Is that the situation for you? Yeah, uh, that's what everyone told me I wanted to do. Ah. And, I, and I believed it for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then I tried comedy. I got on stage once, and I was hooked mm -hmm. immediately. All right, mm -hmm. do you remember your first ever joke that you ever said on stage? I, how did it feel? I refuse to repeat it. It was. Oh, oh, oh. We have to hear it. Wait, wait, is it a family oriented it. joke? It's not a family oriented joke. Okay, no, because okay, Paul Goddard doesn't not. rehash stuff. He's always original. But oh. when you were like a kid, did you like, you know, were you making everybody laugh? Were you the sense of When I attention? was a kid, I wanted to be a magician. Oh. oh. Yeah. From a magician to a comedian. Yeah, well, then I realized magic is about lies. Yeah. And comedy is about truth. Mm. Uh, when you face it, when a magician is doing a trick, there's only two explanations for it either you're stupid. <laughs> That's true. And that's he's true. fooling you. <laughs> or he's the devil. You yeah. Know? Oh, and let's face right. it, everyone loves a comedian, but no, everybody loves Chris Angel, for example. Hey, David Blaine? David Blaine, no, he's a bit weird. But he's, actually, but he locks like himself him. up with weird know, things. Man. Yeah, what kind of like tricks it. are there? Anyway, I will be in this box for a day. <laughs> <laughs> we have but no I, holes. If you actually could give advice to anyone who's trying to start out there, what would you do? Write your jokes down or... Uh, well, first, hopefully your parents have died. Uh, that way you don't disappoint them. Uh, and then just keep at it. It's a difficult thing. Mm -hmm. Comedy is probably the, the hardest thing in the world. Uh, uh, besides what you guys do. This is very difficult. I mean, it's hard to be good looking. And <laughs> It's makeup, my friend. It's oh, all it? makeup. Oh, and, uh, yeah. We're both wearing yeah. silly a guy. We're both very bold. Secretly, yeah. Wow. Secretly. No, but, see, but you are a magician because right now, as we speak, you're in two different places. Yes. You're at Zoom if you're watching, KL, if you're watching the first and you're here. Yeah. yeah, I am. So uh, uh, leave your couch now. Yeah. No, 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 yes. no, 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 in half an hour. Oh, okay, in half an hour. Can you DVR? Do you have TiVo yes, here? Yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do that. DVR. Does that still count towards the and ratings? Yes. You were also uh, PJ Live Arts yesterday performing. Do you love the Malaysian crowd? Were they really? Oh, they're upper? amazing crowds. I, I enjoy it every time I'm out here. Fantastic. I okay. A, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, do you want to go? Okay. How do you deal with hecklers? Have you ever faced a heckler? Because he wants to go to stand-up comedy. <laughs> no! Yes. No, 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 no. That's not me. But yeah. Well, when you first start out. The crowds can smell fear on you, and that's when they heckle you. Okay. Uh, the longer I've been doing it, the, the fewer hecklers I've come across. But it's either like animal kingdom. Yeah. Usually these days, uh, I run across people. Only two kinds of people who are hecklers: either uh, mentally challenged people uh. or Brits. Uh. And, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, oh, there's one right here. Yeah. Actually, actually, oh, right we here. have a master, master heckler right behind you, looking at you right now. His name is Wayne Rooney. He's very angry with you right now, he and is. he looks like Shrek. But, yes. yeah. speaking about Wayne Rooney, do you support yeah. football or soccer, as they do call you it? Even, do you watch soccer? First of all, it's a mystery to me why I'm on this show. <laughs> uh, as an American, we don't really follow soccer. I mean, yeah. to, to Americans, soccer is like Bigfoot. We know it exists, <laughs> but very few people have seen it. David ah. Beckham, I'm hey. sure you must have ogled his underwear ads. Uh, I know excuse I me? No, 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 no. Admiring the photography skills. Absolutely. Sure. There you go. Yeah. You see? Okay, so are, are you drawn to any teams? If I was to say Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham? I would say Man U. Uh, no. Oh, did you hear that they just won, won the Champions yeah. League? Yeah. I'm not a bandwagon guy. Okay. This is their, they've been my team for several minutes. Now. You're good friends. <laughs> you're good friends of a guy called Carvin J, and he supports Manchester United. I think that's why, right? Oh, he does? Now yeah. I have to change my team. That's ah, a good one. Right there. Oh, 